morning everyone, DC here. Um, this morning what uh, I'm going to discuss and uh, get my head round and convey what I understand about fields. Um, electric basically is fields and um, we've got a new schematic drawer in here which uh, <laughs> I hope you can follow. Uh, we've got the power supply, DC motor, high voltage coil, a controller and a capacitor and then we've got here we've got the scaffold tube with uh, two magnets at either end and uh, we've got a coil here but what I just wanted to emphasize is fields this morning which are fields that are coming off the scaffold tube at 90 degrees and um, these fields if you like a uh, uh, expanding and collapsing, expanding and collapsing um, and what I just want to show you this morning is that the fluorescent tube which co is connected to very high voltage at this end shoots through without a circuit it, it's, it shoots through um, without being connected to earth because I'm going to disconnect the earth but when I connect the earth as you would expect the tubes the tube goes a bit brighter but really all it's showing here is you've got uh, power or energy positive if you like as a flash which goes out and then dissipates so it's it's power and loss of power that's going on here so it's like electromagnetic and static or uh, it's a dielectric field so um, it is a little bit hard to discuss what's going on but uh, I've got a relatively low setting on the regulated power supply and um, we're just going to fire it up. At the moment there's a yellow wire here which is connected to a red wire which goes to the back and to this tube here. Now I have had it connected here at the um, clean earth. But there is also another earth to consider here and that is the earth which is um, in the power circuit to the power supply which is obviously make and break. Now you'd think if you shot here at this point here high voltage through when when you come to uh, pull the, 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 the uh, connection here or shall I say connect the earth which is this wire this wire to earth here you'd think that um, it would send high voltage uh, to the coil and cause problems here but it doesn't seem to do that so i'm going to start it up so this yellow wire i'm going to connect both here which is the clean wire the clean earth and also to a false earth which is here an actual fact the earth is just uh, really dissipation of energy loss of energy okay i'm going to fire it up hopefully maybe not uh, i have to disconnect here because sometimes it stalls so disconnect okay so now i'm going to connect the high tension the car coil you can Perhaps see that the um, the coil is working, the tube rather is working. Uh, at the moment, the tube isn't connected to to earth, which is surprising, really. Yes, there's a wire coming off it, but it's not connected to earth. Now, I'm going to connect it to earth, which is the clean earth here, and you should see that the tube goes brighter. I'm gonna, okay, because I've got the, the light on here, it's not very clear, but it's a lot brighter when it's connected to Earth, as you would expect. But it actually works without being connected, which is quite amazing. But now I'm going to take take it off the, the, the clean the clean Earth. I'll have to be careful. Just, <laughs> right. And I'm going to connect it to the false earth here. And it works even better from there. This is amazing. 
absolutely amazing that. So now we've got a situation where that's sort of feeding back on itself. So all that's going on here is the creation of power, the creation of power and the loss of power. And that's what's going on. And that reverts to the schematics here where the end of the tube here, I take it to the earth, which is a clean earth, and the other earth, which is E2, which is connected to this make and break contact maker. So um, if you can understand what's going on there, in connection with a, a dielectric wave here, you'll understand where perhaps the energy is sort of being created and lost. That's it for today. Um, what I'd just like to show you is the Steinmetz drawing. This is a single conductor here with two elements, the magnetic element and the dielectric element. And really that's what's going on. These two, two elements here, dielectric and magnetism. And of course, where you've got two parallel wires, they interfere with one another. So in, in effect, what's going on here in relation to the, uh, the coil and the scaffold tube is, um, well, it's both actually, it's both this diagram and this diagram, which is interconnected. Um, I hope that advances your, your uh, knowledge. This is where I'm at at the moment and I'm understanding fields. Thank you very much for your time today. And it's DC signing off.